Hey testers, in this video, we'll see how you can generate code for your test case, execute it, edit your test tips, and more directly on the Lambda Test platform. So let's dive in. All right, so this is a recently authored test case. And let's say you want to access the automated code for your authored test case, right? To do that, simply head to this code tab right here. And here, you can see that by default, the code is generated using Python and Selenium. We also offer support for other prominent frameworks such as uh, Java, Selenium Java, Playwright, Cypress, and more. You can also generate the code in a preferred language or framework. Let me show you how. To do that, simply click on this Generate New Code button right here. Now, give your code a name. Let's say Test sample select your preferred framework from the drop down let's select playwright select your preferred language let me select python and just click on generate so as you can see now the code is being validated uh, in our preferred language and framework all right so a newly generated code is now validated, which is denoted by the success tag right here. Now let's go ahead and view the code that we generated. So let's click on this view code button right here. All right, here you have the complete automation script. You have these different files such as the UI actions, test bar requirements and more. As you can see, in the test.py file, um, it has all the configurations added and each of the test steps uh, are added here as well. Let me show you. Here, you can see. Now, if you notice here, uh, the test steps that are shown here are the original steps uh, that we use in our web agent. All right. Um, the UI actions file has all the actions that are expected to be performed, but the real magic happens in the operations metadata file. Here, for each command, we add some kind of operation or locator strategy so that the automation can run quickly. We also provide multiple locators here just in case the first one fails. Not only could you generate your code, you can also download it by clicking on the download button to test it on your local system. However, since Lambda Test is an AI native test execution platform in itself, and you are already on it, you can simply execute your automation code on a proprietary tool called HyperExecute. So by clicking on this run on HyperExecute button, you can execute this automation script and validate if it's working or not. So basically, HyperExecute spins up a container in which we are able to execute a test case. HyperExecute will run the pre-steps in order to install the dependencies quickly. And once they're done, uh, we can see that under the scenarios tab, uh, it will start executing our automation code as well. We'll get all the terminal logs right here. And if you click on this button right here, you'll be able to see the live execution of the code as well. So. Here we are now on the automation dashboard and as you can see, the automation code was uh, executed on these configurations. However, Lambda Test has a plethora of configurations to offer, uh, whether it is app, real devices, or browser, or anything. Here you will be presented with all your commands, uh, your logs, your network logs, your metadata, performance, and more. We also have support for accessibility within the test case itself for you to validate uh, if your test was accessibility compliant or not. All right, so we are now back on the screen where our test case steps are present. Um, of course, along the way, you would have changes being pushed to production and these would require you to update and edit your test cases, right? So by clicking on the edit test steps button right here, you can validate your existing test steps in real time. So let's click on that. In case you haven't noticed, we are now in a new space called playground where we can edit, delete, 
or even add test steps to our existing test case. Uh, now, KDI will run the test again, as you can see in the playground window and try to find any error if, if there is. And once it does, it will highlight for you to edit or delete that particular step. For this demo, let me add another step with the help of a manual interaction feature. All right, to enable the manual interaction feature, um, I'll just have to click on this button called manual interaction. All right, as you can see, uh, we are now in the interactive mode. So let me just perform a very simple action. Uh, okay, let's click on the organization settings from a profile. All right, and as you can see, KNI has recorded uh, my manual interaction here. So I'll just uh, turn off the manual interaction mode now. All right, so once you're done with all the changes, uh, click on this save changes button in the top right corner. and a commit message will be automatically generated regarding your changes, right? So review the commit message and uh, simply click on save test case button. All right, so once we save our test case, uh, a newer version of code will also be generated as per our changes to the test case. Um, to view that, simply head to the code tab here. And as you can see, a new code is now being generated and validated as per the changes that we made. Another important feature of Kenya is that you get access to the version history. So all the versions that you create over time will be present in one single place. You can access them by clicking on this version history tab. All right, here you can view all your versions um, and even compare two different versions and see the exact changes uh, in the GitHub style manner by clicking on this compare button right here and selecting the versions. You can also revert to a particular version um, by clicking on this button. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how you can generate a test plan and execute it automatically for any given high level objective using KNI. Thank you for watching.